We've seen all the images, and days later, we are still polarized by the videos and sounds of the Japanese earthquake and tsunami. But could it happen here? It's happened before. A 6.0 quake struck in the 1700s right off the coast of Cape Ann, causing severe damage to southern New England. Dr. John Ebal heads up the Weston Observatory at Boston College and says there are plenty of tectonic plates right here in New England. Right now, though, we don't see the earthquakes lining up on the fault, so we don't know which faults are active. But Boston's newer buildings could escape any significant problems. I would not expect there to be total destruction if we had a major earthquake in the Boston area. A lot of buildings would be standing. The Boston Redevelopment Authority estimates that at least three quarters of the city's 100,000 buildings were built before seismic codes went into effect in 1973, and the city doesn't keep track of any upgrades these buildings have made. For those who have lived earthquakes before, this information is a little unsettling. College student Despi Guadieri survived a magnitude 6.8 earthquake in New Zealand in 2007 and found that being caught off guard by an earthquake can be the most concerning part. It was freaky because I've never experienced it before. I've only had like little tremors and we always have earthquake drills at school. But it was freaky being caught off guard and like all of a sudden the house is shaking early in the morning. FEMA advises those in an earthquake to take caution. If you're inside, stay calm, duck down, and hold on to something sturdy. You should only use a doorway if it is in close proximity. If you're outside, stay there and get as far away from the buildings and power lines as possible until the shaking stops. As for when the next big quake will strike, Ebel says we don't really know, but it's important to be prepared. Reporting in downtown Boston, for JR419, I'm Joe Heyer.